The whole awe and wonder of the Great Barrier Reef for me is about what's underneath. Doing a trip like this where we can go diving and be with people who have a really scientific view of the reef and also a conservationist view of the reef is really important to me. So it's just a great opportunity to learn more about the reef, get an up-to-date diagnosis on the places that we've been diving and see what state they're in and what we might be able to do collectively to repair the damage or avoid further destruction of the reef. Um, as we all know, the, the reef has been suffering quite a bit of detriment over the past several years due to climate change and ocean warming and cyclone damage. So it's been really interesting to see which reefs are still in really good shape, which ones are recovering, and what those ecosystems look like in terms of health. There are a lot of places that we can spend our time and attention in a meaningful way. And so for me, that's like the whole meaningful play concept comes to mind. It's like, okay, how are we going to all participate in righting some of the wrongs and balancing things out that are imbalanced? And I feel like that can happen when we're not always saying no, 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 but also saying yes to things. The Great Reef Census is collecting very, very simple data from as many reefs as we possibly can across the 2,300 kilometre length of the Great Barrier Reef. So that's in the form of photographs. So every reef we're going to try and get four survey sites done with 10 photographs from each of those survey sites. They call it sort of basically reconnaissance data for the Great Barrier Reef. The reef is extraordinarily large in size, and many people know it's big, but this is 2,300 kilometers in length. So you can imagine trying to get to as many reefs as possible is pretty hard. So we've asked the community, whether it be tourism, whether it be the dive community, whether it be researchers, island operations, all to help out by getting in their boats and getting out there on the reef. Uh, from one end to the other to try and take as many images as possible. We're having these wonderful dives, but then we're also getting a bit of a reality check as to what's going on and why so many people are concerned and why something like the census has come to fruition and that people perhaps have such an urgency to their concern for the reef that it's like, okay, how can we participate? How can citizens become scientists? Science is for everyone and certainly conservation is for everyone. So it's very important for us to get the general public, everyone really, involved in the type of science that we're doing and not just the findings but even the process of the science in some cases if we can. Understand and remember that everything's connected. All of our oceans are connected, all of our ecosystems are connected and the coral reefs are very much a rainforest of the oceans. So if we don't have healthy coral reefs then we don't have healthy oceans. I think we have an opportunity as coastal people, so that, that can mean everyone from sailors to uh, fishers, divers and surfers, that because of our proximity to the water, because we have an intimate relationship with these spaces, we're the ones to care for them. So having that sense of custodianship, that, that belonging to a place and that if we are to actually have a real sense of belonging, then it's a two-way street. You know, we walk out of the water after surfing completely lit up and you're so stoked. And you come out of the water as a diver and you feel reborn in a lot of ways. And then what are we going to do with that feeling? And I think it's different for every location and for every person, but we need to be doing something with that energy that we get from these experiences uh, that goes just beyond stoking ourselves out. And I think that's why something like the census is so great because it, you don't have to have an academic brain because I really do not have one of those. Um, but it feels great to be able to have an in of some sort, an access point to just do something. You know, we know that ecology in a lot of areas is imbalanced and crook because of our collective behavior. Um, and it's about time that we really broadly and deeply knew what our solutions are for those problems. I have a three-year-old son who is a little water baby already 
And the whole time I'm swimming here, I was just feeling like almost tearing up every dive because I just think of him and the opportunity for him to experience this in 10, 20 years when he's old enough to do this and just really deeply hoping that he can have that choice. And so it just feels imperative that I can contribute in a tiny way, whatever way I can, and, uh, and give him that opportunity. And I'm sure there's lots of parents all over the world that feel the same, and lots of people without kids who just want others to experience it because this is just unbelievable, spectacular.